Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a brand new Mod Realm upload. I hope you're having a great day so far and today we are going to take a look at the man, the myth, the legend, Big Ed, aka the mayonnaise hair guy. So who still remembers Big Ed? To kind of refresh your memory, he basically got infamous for appearing in the show 90 Days Fiance about half a year back, where he came across as a massive man child that treated his so-called fiance Rose rather poorly. Actually more like complete dog shit. I think this whole series did kind of blow up because so many big commentary YouTubers made videos talking about it, including the one and only PewDiePie himself. Afterwards, I think he did a couple of YouTube videos, embarrassed himself on national TV. I miss Rose, I love Rose, I was ready to give up everything. My daughter, I was ready to give up my daughter. You heard your dad say he was willing to give you up to have this relationship. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And then became an afterthought of most people since the internet had moved on. Except that over half a year after this all happened, this man, this absolute fine specimen of a human being is still trying to stay relevant by making YouTube videos on his channel. Why? He got infamous for being a garbage person basically. He's not a celebrity. I don't understand how he even has 40,000 subs and gets decent views on his videos in the first place, man. I feel like he's just attempting to hold on to the last bit of fame and relevancy by doing the things he knows people recognize him for in order to kind of upset those people and get them talking about him again but who knows maybe making youtube videos is this 50 year old man's true passion so let's check out one of his works the video we are going to take a look at today is titled asmr big ads one wet nap barbecue rib challenge mukbang it was uploaded a couple of weeks ago this january and he seems to attempt the nikocado avocado root relevancy which involves eating the most disgusting shit on purpose while saying outrageous things in order to get attention from people fantastic plus they turned off likes and dislikes so yeah i bet this is gonna be a banger video but before we get into that i'm trying to hit 50 subs on the channel so if you enjoy my videos please leave a subscription with the bell on it would really help me out a lot and also like this video if you haven't already and yeah let's get into this insanely disgusting asmr mukbang video. you guys big ed here obviously welcome to the one wet nap ribs challenge just why is that actually what people want to see from this guy that one wet napkin challenge is that even a real thing i mean he's probably not doing it to save paper for the environment or something he's just doing it to make this as disgusting and wild as possible obviously in order to i don't know probably get some reaction out of people i guess I mean, it's kind of working, I'm sitting here complaining about it, but I'm not sure how long that's gonna last. I think Big Ed might be self-aware that he's currently at his last drop of relevancy, and most likely in some time in the future, no one is gonna watch these videos anymore. At least I would hope so. So I'm gonna be eating all of these ribs from three different vendors and drinking my Dos Equis. All of them? You're gonna be eating all of them by yourself? Listen man, I'm sorry but this looks like a whole ass fucking cow to me dude. No way should any human being be able to successfully eat all of those ribs by themselves man. Three plates of ribs, some scrambled eggs or noodles or whatever that on the other plate is and two random ass peppers, that's way too much meat. Also notice how there's a random glass of mayonnaise standing around. So do you believe me now when I say he's doing what people used to know him for to this day? Because you know back in the day in the 90 days fiance show this was kind of one of the most popular clips him just putting mayonnaise in his own hair. And he probably keeps that in in order to save the very last drop of relevancy this man has. Yeah it's kind of pathetic to be honest. Oh shit I got that in a rib. Why didn't we just leave Big Ed in 2020? This man literally spits onto his own food before eating it. I wonder where I've seen that technique before. Big Ed versus Nikocado Avocado Mukbang Battle incoming? I mean, I hope not, because I do actually want to keep a little bit of faith in humanity, if you don't mind, bro. Wait, it's a little bigger, sorry. Fully extended. That's what she said. Why? That is going to be my main message for this video. Just why? How is this 50 year old man still making that's what she said jokes? She didn't say that, no woman has ever said that to Big Ed. The last time he tried to get someone to say that he utterly failed. This is the most awkward cringe thing ever and it's not even funny like at least when you watch Nikocado's avocados videos they are somewhat entertaining but in Ed's videos I have to come up with the entertainment. The only person worse off than his viewers who have to go through this dumpster fire is his big editor who has to cut this abomination together and didn't even get credit in the description. 
Man, I feel so much secondhand embarrassment whenever I see this man. So barbecue pit, here we go. This is Oh my god. Why is there a cameraman shoving the camera into this man's face? This is already disgusting enough as it is, so I don't want to see the flesh between his teeth in such great detail. No, thank you. I mean, this is like somewhat of a pattern in his videos. He always has a person that clearly tells him what to do. So I guess he's either being held hostage as a prisoner, which I highly doubt, or he hired like a social media manager or something to help him out with his efforts to become more relevant again. Because you know, obviously his hype did really die down, except for like the 40k subs and like 20 to 40k viewers he gets on his videos. The meat is really good. I think I like, I like the sauce the best. I have two questions. Who decided to put this classical opera music in the background? This is the most unfitting background noise I've ever seen in a YouTube video. Even heavy metal would surely fit better over this one. And secondly, what the actual fuck is that in the background? That's like an animal mask or something. Please don't tell me big ad is a furry. I mean, I don't judge, but I wouldn't be able to get that image out of my head ever again. This macaroni and good. Why would you eat mac and cheese with your hands, man? This is probably the most disgusting part about this so far. At least have the decency to use a fork or a spoon or something. Only positive is that this is a thumbnail shot right there. Fucking ribs are so good, but it's really, really messy. And now I'm gonna, I'm thirsty, so. <laughs> Okay, man, who the fuck drinks peppers? I was wondering the entire time what these were for. Like, you have your beer or whatever that is to the left, so why don't you use that? No, instead this man sucks the life out of a pepper. That kinda reminded me of this South Park scene. Like, imagine being so desperate for a cloud that you have to do things like that to keep your channel alive. I don't feel bad for him at all, I just feel bad for his editor and his daughter. Especially his daughter, man. Similar to what I said in my vegan teacher video, check that out if you haven't seen it by the way, the children of these 50 to 60 year old cringe influencers, gosh I hate that word, have to feel so ashamed for their parents doing this. Like, these people are obviously adults and they have to watch their parents attempt to become a social media person as a job. That must be so cringe to witness, but you know, they're obviously not gonna tell that to their parents, so they have to pretend to support them, although they're making an absolute joke out of themselves on the internet. Like, I, I really feel bad for those people when they have to watch their parents do this. You need a little vegetable in your diet, or when you go to the bathroom, this stuff doesn't come out as smooth. Why does this man keep telling us about his visits to the bathroom while eating? Gross, dude. Nobody asked. Not a single person on earth wanted to notice about Big Ed. It's absolutely revolting. Keep your shit to yourself. Literally. Look at this f***ing wet nap. This thing's like nothing. This thing's shredding. This is not gonna work. I don't know, maybe if your napkin is so dirty that it's falling apart, then don't wipe it all over your face? I don't know. Why does this make me so mad? This whole video is all a complete dumpster fire. Somebody needs to delete his YouTube channel as soon as possible. These are spicier, like they're really spicy. Um, you guys know I like my women spicy, right? Yeah, but they don't like you. Like, not at all. We need to give this man a reality check. Big Ed became infamous for doing some stupid shit like half a year ago. And he's still out there making the same stupid remarks, clearly to get people talking. Also, again, I really do feel bad for his family that has to watch these cringe abominations of videos. Oh, did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? We got him. He's clearly wiping the meat all over his shirt to come across as even more disgusting, even though he's already nasty enough by himself. I guess that's why he was known as the mayonnaise man. Alright, okay. 
Okay, maybe they are actually holding him hostage. I mean, jokes aside, I'll save you the pain of watching another two minutes of him eating. I'll just show you how he ended up after it. How the fuck did he get it onto his forehead? And like, we saw he clearly rubbed the meat all over his body in order to look even more revolting in the end. Yuck, how far does this man have to go to stay relevant? He's turning into like an elderly Nikocado avocado just without any entertaining qualities to him. It's really absolutely painful to watch, but at least he's gonna take a nice shower to clean himself up after this, right? I haven't showered in 10 years. I just use jacuzzis, man. That might just be a world record. Also, oh my god, is he actually using a hot tub to clean himself? How much did 90 Day Fiance pay this man? I need to get on there as well. Seriously though, a hot tub or jacuzzi is like one of the best things you could ever have in your home and you decide to make it disgusting somehow by using it as your shower after you completely wiped yourself full of mac and cheese and meat sauce. If there's one thing I never wanted to see, it is Big Ed without a shirt on in a hot tub. Please wear a shirt at all times. The same goes for Boogie2988, stop showing yourself topless, please. I just desperately play that he's not gonna open up an OnlyFans account to jump on the kind of OnlyFans hype train after this. Okay, that was luckily the end of the video, it was uh, completely and utterly painful to watch and now I'm gonna go wipe my eyes out and drink myself to death in order to be able to forget what I just witnessed. So in conclusion. Big Ed, he got infamous for doing some stupid shit and he probably got hooked on that clout as people like to say and now does everything to attempt to regain or at least keep the last bit of relevancy his channel has and it's honestly sad to watch to see a 50 year old do this like obviously when it's like these 20 year old cringe influencers that go after clout you know it's it's still bad but you can at least somewhat relate to your perspective they obviously wanna become famous on social media but doing the same as a 50 year old man just makes it all the more pathetic especially since for most people he's just an afterthought now and I think he should stay an afterthought and I do actually feel really bad for his family like I previously said. I wouldn't recommend you watching these videos, I feel like if he does get less views over time and time he will eventually stop uploading because he clearly has no passion, I mean he obviously hired social media people and all that because he wouldn't be able to like record and cut or anything by himself but it's really just very very painful to watch overall and yeah that's gonna do it for the video today let me know your opinion about big ad in the comments what do you think about his new videos i mean you probably realize by now that i don't think too highly of them but let me definitely know your opinion down below and like and subscribe please it would be absolutely amazing of you and yeah we'll see each other next video